Hey, what's up guys? All right, so today I'm gonna talk about a little tech that I've been using since Christmas, and that's the iPad Pro, the 10.5 version. So every year the iPad came out, I would always upgrade to it, up until the iPad Air. Once the iPad Air came out, it just stopped. Uh, only because I started to realize it's like, uh, there's not too much of a difference always upgrading. Maybe if I skip a generation or two. And the iPad Pro, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an interesting concept, right? Uh, I remember when Steve Jobs came out and said, hey, it's a new device you can just use on your couch. And uh, I thought that concept was pretty cool, but I always found myself not really using the iPad. I always found it collecting dust on the shelf. So anyways, when the new iPad Pro came out, I was intrigued because of the uh, not only the internal components and the speed of it, uh, and what it was capable of. I mean, heck, they even said that it's a laptop replacement, which intrigued me. I was like, okay, well, if it's a laptop replacement, let me give this iPad another look. So I was telling my girl about it. I was like, yeah, this thing looks really cool. I would love to have one. And bless her freaking heart, she bought me one for Christmas. And I have been using it frequently. Let me tell you how and why. So a lot of people will just say, well, it's just an iPad. What can you really do with an iPad? And I agree with you, to a point. Now, she gave me the iPad with the Apple Pencil, and I never thought I would be doing this, is I have been sketching stuff all the time, whether it's just drawings, storyboards, or putting my thoughts as if I'm writing down a paper. And I always like to doodle too. I always like to like, even though I'm not an artist, I still like to draw. Just, just take, just wherever my hand takes me, I create something and then try to create something from something that I didn't create. And I know some of you are out there with me on that one. And the iPad just gives me that freedom where I can just open up Adobe Sketch, take my pencil, and just start going that way at it. And I love how precise the pencil is. I can feather, I can shade, and it's, it's precise, and I like that. So it's bringing out the creative side of me on this iPad, which I was never able to do on the previous iPads. So again, when somebody asks me, well, what can you really do with an iPad these days? You can be creative with it. And that's how I feel. And it's like you can edit your videos on it with the pencil. There's even a game I play called Getting Over It on the iPad that I use with the Apple Pencil. And again, as childish as this sounds, I actually color on this. I download, like for instance, I, I'm a big Marvel fan. I downloaded the Marvel coloring book and when I'm just kind of waiting around passing up time, I'm just filling in the colors, which again, sounds childish, but I love doing it. If you're a photographer, this is a fantastic device for you, especially with the Apple Pencil, because you can import your photos through the Adobe Creative Cloud, whether it's from your computer, you can download it right to your iPad, and you can pick up where you left off through your pencil, and I kind of prefer editing my photos on my iPad anyways, because those only because of the pencil. It's really freaking good. But can you justify that price tag just for it? I don't know. But if you're a creative professional, then yes, it actually is. It's a, it's a tool for your workflow. It's a tool for your creativity. It's a tool for your process. Especially if you're storyboarding, it's really key. If you just want to draw out some of the things that you have in your mind before the shoot for that day, and you can even be on set and kind of look at your storyboards or even print them out if you wanted to. So anyways, that's my personal experience and my thoughts about the iPad Pro 10.5 version. I know they're coming out with a new one here very soon, wondering what components are coming out with it, but I know I won't be making that jump because like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not going to be upgrading every generation that comes out anymore. I'll skip a couple or even a few. But anyways, with that said guys, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, let me know your comments about your thoughts about the iPad Pro. If you're into a creative process, uh, what, are you, what are you using this for? And if, even if you're not, what games are you playing? What apps are you using? You know, like I'm definitely looking to explore the complete wide ranges of this device. So please share in the comments of what you're using this iPad for. But besides that, my friends, I'll catch you guys in the next video.